this section, you will be learning about the different methods used to establish the number of individuals within a population or community and how to choose appropriate methods for obtaining population numbers. Communities and populations are generally large and not evenly distributed, making it tedious to observe each individual. Therefore, in order to estimate the numbers of a population within a community, one has to obtain samples of individuals of each group. The quadrat. The quadrat is a square generally made of a wooden or metal frame of a specific area, usually 0 0.25 meters squared or 1 meter squared. The quadrat is used for sampling vegetation, slow moving animals, as well as organisms present on the surface of rocks in a stream or on a seashore. The quadrat may be used for random or systematic sampling. Sampling may either be random or systematic. From the samples collected, one is able to estimate the number of organisms within a given area of ground or volume of water. This is the species distribution. Species distribution involves the species density and species frequency. Species density is the average number of individuals of a particular species within a given area. Species frequency is the percentage of sample units in which a species occurs. Samples may be obtained by using quadrats, nets, bottles, and transects. The net. Nets are used for sampling small moving animals and it is generally made of a small mesh with a handle approximately one meter long. The mouth of the net is swept through the vegetation in order for dislodged animals to drop into the mesh or bag. The size of the mesh used will determine the size of animals captured. Bottles. Bottles, which are of a known volume, may be used to sample small aquatic or terrestrial species. In an aquatic area, samples of either pond or river water can be collected to be analyzed with the use of a hand lens or microscope. On land, bottles are used for setting pitfall traps. The bottles are often sunk randomly into the earth below ground level, containing food to attract animals. The opening of the bottle may be covered with leaves and sticks or with a stone lifted off the edge by other stones. The trap catches arthropods such as centipedes and beetles which are nocturnal. Transects. Using a transect requires sampling along a straight line. The line transect is useful for sampling habitats where there is a clear change in conditions and distribution of vegetation or animals from one point to another. A length of cord with marked intervals is stretched over a habitat and any plant touching the cord is recorded. This may be done for the entire length of the cord or at regular intervals. The quadrat may be used to calculate species density and species frequency. Let us see how. Look on the table on the screen. Species density is obtained by averaging the number of individuals of a species in each randomly thrown quadrat in a given area. 
This example uses a quadrant size of one meter squared. In 10 throws, a total of 30 plants were counted. The average of plants would be 30 divided by the 10 throws. The species density would be 3. The species frequency, however, would be the number of times the species is present in the total number of throws. For example, from the sample, the species was present in 7 out of 10 quadrants thrown randomly. The species frequency is therefore 7 out of 10 multiplied by 100, equaling 70%. Terrestrial and aquatic environments will have certain features in common, namely air, animals, plants, and a specific soil type. Air comprises oxygen, carbon dioxide, and nitrogen, which are gases that are used by both plants and animals on a daily basis. The oxygen is relevant for the process of respiration and carbon dioxide is necessary for photosynthesis and thereby lead to the formation of carbon compounds within plants, animals and the environment. Nitrogen however is not in a usable form and must be converted to a nitrate in order to be used. This is aided by nitrogen-fixing bacteria or lightning. The nitrates will enter plants and animals. However, it may be returned to the soil by nitrifying bacteria and returned to the air by denitrifying bacteria. Soil is a natural resource that is a product of the interaction of several factors such as parent material, time, climate, plants and animals and the degree of slope. 